What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you my recipe for fish and grits. But before I do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, to make fish and grits, we're gonna have to start with some fish. Today I'm using catfish, but you can use whiting, trout, croaker, really whatever white fish you like. We're gonna slice this big filet into two smaller, more reasonable sized filets. And then we're gonna put them on a nice plate here and season them up. Feel free to use whatever fish is your favorite. I'm using catfish just because uh, it kind of, you know, it's fitting for this type of recipe. We're seasoning the catfish with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Always want to make sure you get some nice surface area coverage there. Flip it over and season the other side as well. Looking good. Nice all-purpose seasoning goes well with just about everything. Next, we're gonna use some smoked gouda. Look at the magic. We're gonna shred that up. Smoked Gouda is great for this recipe. It's going in the grits, but you can use whatever cheese you like. That was about a cup of Gouda. Here we have some andouille sausage, which is very traditional in Cajun and Creole cuisine. We're using about eight ounces of that. And we're just gonna slice that up into small medallions. So just slice it into little circles like you see me doing right here. Andouille sausage does have a little bit of spice to it, some nice smoky notes. Just very delicious, adds a ton of flavor to this recipe, so I highly suggest it. All right, moving on to our sauce. We're starting with two tablespoons of butter. You wanna allow that to melt in your skillet or saucepan. Cooking over about medium heat right now. Going in with one tablespoon of lobster base. I know you guys sometimes have trouble finding this, so you can order it on Amazon if you can't find it, or just use one of the other Better Than Bouillon products. Also going in with about a teaspoon or two of garlic paste. You can use minced garlic or fresh garlic as well. Mix that in. And then we're going in with a tablespoon of flour. That's gonna be the thickening agent that's gonna kinda of start our roux here. That's gonna thicken the sauce up a little bit. If you want your sauce a little bit thicker, you can add a little bit more flour, but we're not going for a super thick sauce here. Keep on mixing until everything is well combined. You wanna cook it for about one to two minutes to get rid of that raw flour taste. Looking good. We're gonna add a little bit of white wine. I recommend dry wine like Chardonnay. You can even use Sherry if that's all you got. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients are listed for you in the description box below, so please check that out. Looking good. Now we're going in with our chicken stock. Just wanna make sure everything is well combined. You wanna make sure your sauce is nice and smooth like a three day weekend. And we're adding our heavy cream here. Bring that sauce up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. Everything should be nice and smooth at this point. A little fresh lemon juice just to add a little bit of acidity to the dish. The fresh lemon juice really kind of uh, brings all of the flavors together. It cuts through some of the richness from the cream and the cheese and balances some of the savoriness from that lobster base. The lobster base does have quite a bit of sodium in it, so you don't need to add a whole lot of additional seasoning. Next, we're going to reduce the heat or turn the heat all the way off and, and then uh, start to mix in our Parmesan cheese here. You want to do that with the heat reduced or the heat off completely because if you don't, sometimes the cheese will separate and it'll mess up your sauce and we don't want that to happen. Looking good. Nice, delicious sauce to go on this fish and grits. We're adding in a little bit of smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika or a chili powder. Uh, the paprika really just adds a little bit of flavor, but mostly for color. As you can see, the sauce is looking absolutely delicious. Going in with a few pinches of fresh chopped parsley for some freshness and a pop of color. Next, we're on to our flour, which we're gonna dredge our fish in to fry it up. You want to season this to taste with salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a little sasson, and some Cajun uh, or Creole seasoning there. Whatever your favorite works just fine. You can use Tony's. Use whatever your favorite seasoning is. Then break out the whisk and mix all of those ingredients to combine. I do recommend tasting your flour, so just a very small uh, like thumbprint worth of flour, just to make sure that it's adequately seasoned, because if you don't taste it, you're kind of just guessing, and you don't want to guess when you're cooking. You want to be sure that it's seasoned well. Next, we're going to beat together two to three eggs, depending on how much fish you're frying. 
and we're gonna dip that seasoned fish into that egg wash, strain off any excess egg, and then we're gonna go right into that flour. Looking good. Then make sure it's well coated in that flour on both sides. Anytime you're working with something that you're frying, you wanna use one clean hand, one dirty hand, just to you know cut down on the mess, make things a little bit easier on you. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Nothing like some fried fish. Strain off any excess flour and then add it to a wire rack and let that chill out for a minute or two while you get your grease nice and hot. You want your oil to get to 350 degrees before you begin frying. You can test that with a digital thermometer. There we go. Now we're gonna fill up our skillet or fryer, whatever you decide to use, doesn't really matter. With about a liter or so of peanut oil, we've cooked our grits to package instructions. I didn't show you guys how to do that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Once the grits are cooked, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter and whisk that in. And once the butter is melted, we're gonna season it up with some Cajun seasoning and then start to slowly incorporate our smoked Gouda cheese. These grits are so good, guys. One pro tip I do recommend is using a mixture of heavy cream and chicken stock instead of water for your grits. I've put that in the description box below for you as well. So that's about a cup of uh, smoked Gouda cheese and a half cup of cheddar. We're gonna set those grits aside and get our fish frying because our oil is now at 350 degrees. You wanna fry these for about four to five minutes per side or until they're nice and golden brown as you see here. Looking good. Oh man. Look at that. A little early food porn for you guys. All right, next up we're gonna we're gonna saute that andouille sausage. It's already cooked, but you just want to brown it up a little bit, let the flavor start to come out of it. Looking good, smelling good. This is optional, guys. If you don't eat pork, you can feel free to leave this out. We're also gonna add in about four ounces of jumbo lump crab meat because it was on sale and I also like to impress you guys a little bit. Plus crab meat's delicious on everything. Now we're gonna add our amazing cheese grits to our plate here. A nice uh, comfortable bed for our fried fish. Then we're gonna to top that with that andouille sausage and crab meat mixture. The crab meat's already cooked, so you really just toss it in there with that andouille sausage to kind of warm it up. Our Cajun cream sauce going on top and around the sides, because why not? Oh man, this recipe is amazing, guys. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you plan on making this one. If you do, please tag me on social media because I love seeing what you guys cook. Little trademark money shot, and you know I gotta try this one. Gotta get some fish, some grits, a little bit of that sausage. Moment of truth. The flavor just keeps building. It keeps going. I think that says it all guys. Hope you like this recipe as much as I do. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. And as always, thank you for your support.